Uh, yeah, okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no worries. No worries. Be part of it. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, so we want to keep the curse words out. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. By, by nature, I curse a lot, but I'm trying, <laughs> yeah. trying my best not to. <laughs> yeah, I said less. You're good. It was good practice, Ron. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Randy. I'm uh, playing the part of Malcolm, rhythm guitarist. I'm Brett, Bon Scott. I'm Dave. I'm the tall Angus. <laughs> I'm Chris. I'm the Phil Rudd of the group. <laughs> and I'm Jamie. I play bass uh, in the band. Cliff Williams and uh, Mark, Evans. Mark Evans. Mark Evans. Yeah. exclusively yes yes Yes. i mean and that's uh, that's why we started the band that's why you guys started the band Uh, you guys i'll let dave tell the story but yeah how how did the idea even come about yeah so so brett and i were were in a band together where he was playing bass and i was playing drums and on the occasions when the singer wouldn't show up or would be an hour and a half late or whatever we'd be dinking around and Inevitably, we play Highway to Hell because he sounds just like Bon Scott. I mean, it's it was crazy. And so at one point, I'm like, dude, we got to put together an ACDC band. Wait. And, you know, we kind of chuckled about it, right? Eh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Well, then fast forward like a year later, and we're at, a believe it or not, a tribute band beer uh, unveiling here in Kalamazoo. We went to go see a motorhead band and we started talking again about putting together this ACDC band. And the more we were drinking, the more we were watching this <laughs> tribute band, the more excited we became. And the next thing you know, I'm on my phone getting on Facebook going, all right, man, there's gotta be someone out there who knows how to play bass <laughs> looking to do a ACDC band. And then it just kind of, kind of came together. Randy here, was working with me. He was a new hire at the, at the company that I was with at the time. And, uh, I said, uh, yeah, I overheard him saying something about, what? about his daughter, what, what she's saying. Well, the, my kids are always <laughs> telling me I have too many guitars and I told him that's not a thing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. He said, yeah, I, I go, do you like ACDC? He goes, of course I like ACDC. Yeah. I, you want to be an ACDC band? <laughs> not knowing if he could even play. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Right. Well, it's a, the secret sauce of what we do is that we're a bunch of guys that enjoy hanging out, playing music together and it's just fun. Yeah. You know. Where there's zero drama, we're all just yeah. buds. Yeah, but I mean at the time though, like so Dave, you were playing drums. Yeah. You were a drummer. And Brett, I you're was a bass player. I was playing bass and singing at the time, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
but by trade, you're not a lead singer. You're not that you weren't. Have you ever been a lead singer of a band? I mean, uh, no, I, I sang lead in like some cover bands in high school and stuff, but no, not for a long, long time. We're not going to say how long ago that was. It was a long time. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that. He's in the church choir. It was a long you know, time ago. Yeah. <laughs> No, nah, that's I mean, that's the funny thing is that, you know, we, we still use the word tribute because we are dedicated exclusively to covering Bon Scott, ACDC, but we're more focused on making sure the music is exact. Like we, we really hone in on the sound, um, but we don't really get too much into trying to dress up like them. We don't really have much in the way of like, you know, cannons on the stage and, and trying to blow up dolls. And, you know, we, we don't really get into all that. I mean, Angus himself is only five, three and. And uh, Dave here is about a full foot taller than him. So if he wore the schoolboy outfit, it would probably be a little bit awkward. (laughs) (laughs) Right. (laughs) There's a fine balance between looking and sounding, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a it's a crazy industry. There's a lot of money to be made mm-hmm. in tribute acts. Mm-hmm. I mean, they tour around and make a ton of money if you're good enough. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah. we, we never really, when we put it together, we thought maybe we'd play a couple parties or something, you know, we didn't think we were going to start to play out on a regular basis. Like no. we are, we thought know? maybe a bar mitzvah, you maybe, know, we, maybe, you know, we never somebody's backyard. We never thought it would turn into what it's turned into. Yeah. Uh, it we, was late, it was, late 18 is when we got together here. I think the Halloween thing, so probably, so. A, probably about a year, but I mean, that's so, oh, yeah. well, what, what do you, so, okay. So the, the core of us, Dave, Brett and I got together with, um, our first drummer who, who we affectionately call the kid because he was straight out of high school. He was, he was, he was in high school. He was in high school when we got together. He was our drummer. Yeah. 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 And and Brett was playing bass and singing. If you can imagine that he was literally playing bass and singing Bon Scott vocals at the same time. Uh, and that obviously got to be a bit too much. So then we brought in a friend of mine, Mr. Scott Garrison. He was our, um, first bass player, but with Scott, we won't, we only rehearsed as a full five piece for a few months before that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was a couple months and then we had our first gig out at uh, Shakespeare's yeah. in Kalamazoo. Yep. So. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, we we went to go see Thunderstruck. Oh yeah. At Bells in Kalamazoo. And it was awesome to stand on the other side of the stage and watch somebody else do it. And they killed it. Oh, they're great. Oh, they're fantastic. But they're doing a challenging thing because they're covering both eras. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I, I don't know about tips necessarily, but like we just appreciated it, like because we're like, yeah, man, like like I said, we we focus on being as close to the album as we can, and it's like watching them do it; they nailed it. Like yeah. musically, they were really sound. 
but they also had their Angus. He ran out in the crowd. He had his wireless and he went, you know, up and down yeah, the balcony yeah, and all that yeah. stuff. And yeah, you know, we, we, we have a high energy show. We have a, a lot of fun. Uh, we call Dave our uh, jumping bean cause he's <laughs> over on the other side of the stage <laughs> bouncing around and having a great time. And it was just all about having fun and celebrating this music that we love. So. Yeah. You, you know, our, our thing is, and we, we played a show, what was that? Two, two years ago when we opened for domestic problems. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so that was at uh, Louis downtown. It was a summer show and it was an outdoor thing. And uh, you know, the guy that booked us and everything down at Louis uh, said that, you know, when they were letting people in, whatever, that someone while we were playing and coming in and not seeing us there playing, said to him, do you guys got a CD playing over there? Yeah. And, was, and, yeah. and that, that's what we want. That's yeah. what we want. You know, I, I don't, it, it's not that we look like them or you're going to, I don't care about the visuals, but if you close your eyes or turn your back, you know, you might actually believe it for a minute. So that that's where it's at. Yeah. We were just talking. I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he can't do Brian. Uh, we yeah. know he can. Yeah. But I mean, like, okay, this is- I, I've just always felt like. The Bon Scott ACDC is where it's at. It really is. I I just just far and away. Yeah. Th- those records are where it's at. I mean, don't get me wrong. I own all the other albums. I'm not putting them down, but th- that's just where it's at for me. I mean, I love those albums. The early stuff is just so raw and and gritty, and it's just like. They were obviously sort of redefining what it meant to be a hard rock band. Like they, they're the gold standard that are those early years, you know, the the uh, high voltage and one of our favorite yeah. albums is Power Age, which didn't get a lot of radio play, but we can basically play that album from start to finish because we love all those songs so much. They're just really, really great rock songs. Yeah, we are a deep cut band, yeah. right? Because if yeah. you think about the the Bon Scott era. You know, there's if everyone goes, oh yeah, I know Highway to Hell, or I know if you want blood, and then after that, they're like, uh, needs, yep, yep, okay, <laughs> I know that one. TNT, yep, I know that one. Big balls, big yeah. balls. <laughs> what, Fan favorite. Well, you know though, but one of, one of the crazy things about Bon Scott ACDC is though that Dirty Deeds wasn't released in this country <laughs> until after Bon Scott died. Yeah. So back in black. Back in Black came out, and then after it hit so big, the record company said, hey, we, we've still got this, and we never released it. Let's put it out. So they released an album with Brian. Bon was dead, and they put this album out. So <laughs> then, so then all confused. these people bought this album. Yeah. And, and to me, you know, Dirty Deeds compared to the other ones – Eh, I mean, there's some good songs on there, but sure. you know, it's not. It's no, it's, not, a it's high not voltage. Power edge, let there know, be rock. I mean, power edge. Yeah, know. those. That's where it's at, right there. Yeah, gritty, pure, raw power. Before mm-hmm. the the you know when that's so they had um, their older brother was their producer. Yeah, yeah. George, yeah. George, George was George was playing bass and producing them, and that's back in the day when they were just like you know let's just do this. Let's just yeah. we're gonna play the way we want to play. And then later the labels wanted to make some money and right, you know, right. they so, got a hold of them like they so do. So essentially when when Dirty Deeds was released in Australia, 
and then they submitted it to the record company here. In this country, they said, nah, not good, <laughs> not good enough. And then after Back in Black blew up, they said, yeah, good enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, they no, no one would have ever heard big balls if they hadn't yeah. Done. Yeah. 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 So, so Randy had touched on how how raw and just powerful the old ACDC is. Do yourself a favor, YouTube ACDC Soul Stripper Live. Mm -hmm. It will pound you over the head with mm -hmm. a sledgehammer relentlessly. It is so powerful. It's a great track. Oh my God. Or, it, I mean, most people have never listened to the live album. Have you ever listened to If You Want Blood, the live album? On on it. Yeah, I mean, geez. <laughs> I mean, that's where they made their bones too, because they were yeah. they were uh, touring through every club they could get booked in in Australia and just relentlessly playing these Sometimes high energy shows three times a day. Yeah, just just grinding themselves to a pulp as they honed their sound, and that's I mean, you can you can hear that raw energy coming through those first few albums, and that's yeah. why we love it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. Yep. So they know we're, yep. we're always going to give them the hits for sure. Oh yeah. You know, but we always mix in some stuff that, you know, a lot of other bands are not going to play. And so, uh, sometimes just for us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, typically we've got a lot of people now that, that come out to see us, that come out to see us because they're huge Bon Scott fans, yeah. they're huge ACDC fans, and they know that we do that stuff, so they want to see it. Yeah, you know? I mean, they're, they're shouting out requests for stuff like, you know, Down Payment Blues and, and uh, I mean, yeah. Dave, Soul Stripper. Dave just mentioned Soul Stripper. We just played that for the first yeah. time live, yeah. and um, I mean, it's like... Some of our hardcore fans that really know that stuff just go nuts. They yep. love it. Yep. Well, we're starting to run out of songs. So That's we, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say, like, <laughs> there's only a handful we haven't played yeah. live yet. I mean, yeah. and we're working on those right now. So, yeah. I mean... The thing is, like, if, if you've got a 30-minute set in front of a random audience that didn't come to see ACDC, we're going to play Highway to Hell. We're going to play a whole lot of Rosie. We're going to make sure that it's packed with radio hits. And that's to be expected. But when we got a show that's like, we know it's our crowd, and we've got an hour and a half, two hours, we're going to hit with every deep cut we can pull out. And they love it. 30 seconds. Yeah. 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 We play 30 songs in a set. You know, yeah. we can, yeah, we can, you know. We yeah. just yeah, we just really hammer it. Yeah, we played we played a show what was that? Uh December. Yeah, Final Gravity. Final Gravity, we we did a show, we did twenty nine songs that yeah. night. So now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well the The yeah. thing for us is we don't we don't like to take set breaks because no. 
it, when you come to see us, it's a show. We're not there to like play a song, you know, take a break, come out and, you know, it, it's like when we get this thing cranked up, we're going to kick your face in <laughs> for like an hour and a half. Like, that's just what we do. Yeah. Yeah, I hate I hate it when it's like they want you to, oh, play 45, take a break, play <laughs> nah, 45. You no. lose them. Yeah, it's no, like, yeah. no, you lose them. I mean, can you imagine, though, like, Yeah, if you, you you go through a song like Let There Be Rock and everybody is just, you know, hype and then you're like, OK, uh, we'll be back in 15 minutes. Don't go anywhere. It, do, it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. You already pushed it over the cliff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, we, I mean, some of the songs, yeah. we, we got a couple that go into the six minute range. I mean, yeah. um, you know, and, and we string a few together and, and play with a little bit, you know, is it one of the fun things about, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we, I mean, this one, yeah. this one finishes on A and that next one starts on an A and let's build this, you know, we, we kind of string them together. It's, yeah. it's a lot of fun to put itself together. Yeah. Yeah. And, and when we did that, that show we're talking about where we did two and a half hours, we got done and, and one of the sound guys said to me, he was like, Holy shit. You just did that. For two and, a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, and, and you're listening to Brett right now and you're listening to him talk and you're like, wait a minute, this is the guy that sings Bon Scott. <laughs> and it is, it's him. <laughs> Come out to a show. Come, Come on out yeah. to a show. That's right. <laughs> every every Monday. Yeah, I mean it's. Yeah, yeah we, it's it's therapy actually. Yeah, we call it our poker night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some some guys get together and they play poker every week. We get together and we play rock and roll. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, we want to keep it tight. Yeah. It's I mean, important. the thing is, like, if we didn't even have a gig, we'd still get together and do this because it's just so much fun, and that's that's why we call it our poker night because it's our night to get together hang out, play some music. And we just generally enjoy hanging out with each other. And, and, you know, we look forward to rehearsal just as much as we do a gig. Yeah. Oh man. Last year was, um, last year was pretty busy and we do a busy. couple of months during the summer, you know, um, it's, it's a little easier to book them in the West Michigan area in the summer. Cause there's a lot more outdoor venues that are available to us, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's it wouldn't be unusual for us to do twenty shows in a year, I would think. Yeah, all right, something yeah. like that. A little both, both. Yeah, a little both. We've had people contact us because of the word of mouth. We've had, uh, yeah, we played a show in Wayland. Um, there's an awesome place. I don't know if you want me to say the name of it. I'll give them a little bit of a plug. 412 Distilling. Uh, just a really cool place. Like, uh, yeah, they do their own spirits. They got amazing tacos and stuff. And we played on their backyard because they reached out to us. They'd heard of us. So that's kind of an example of where they were just like, hey, we, we'd love to have you come play. And we're like, let's make this happen. So uh, it's not a typical bar either, though. I mean, we're... There are certain bars we just can't, we won't fit in there. I mean, if they want us to play during dinner, that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. Yeah. It yes. Is, or they want us to do a four hour night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you get that a lot. Sometimes people yeah. will be like, I don't know. Do you, do you know anything else? Other than like, no, 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 this is what we do. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's like, I, I don't think you know what's getting ready to happen, mm -hmm. right? Here, you know. Yep. 
and, and I mean, it kind of takes a specific setup for us too. Like we, we need the, the right mix of the space, the, uh, the PA system that can handle what we're about to throw at it. And yeah, so it's, it, it kind of limits the options a little bit to an extent, but yeah, I mean, we play mostly in the Kalamazoo surrounding areas and we're not afraid to travel a little bit, but so far we've just been happy to play some of these amazing clubs in West Michigan. So Yeah, we've had some interesting shows too. We actually played at the Van Buren County Fair. Mm-hmm. Youth Fair. Yeah, the youth yeah, fair, yes. yeah. The Van Buren County Youth yeah, Fair. Thank yeah. you, Jake. Yeah, and so, so w- mm-hmm. we show up, we're, we're playing in this tent <laughs> and – and that, like the PA, they 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 had this this little tiny little rickety PA. We're like, oh no, I wonder if this is gonna work. And then Brett's like, where's the monitors? We're like, yeah. The guy goes, what? You need a monitor? Yeah. I showed up. I, I, go, I go, you got any monitors? He goes, you need one? Yeah. Are you Maybe. gonna need to hear yourself? Yeah. 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 But, but I tell you what, we tore that place oh, up. Oh man. People, it was great. Uh, people it was were like, raw, what the hell it was raw. Like, it was good. Right. I mean, uh, that was, was perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Parade. Downtown yeah. Kalamazoo. Played on the back of the trailer. Yeah, yeah. we got on a trailer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, one of, one of the early music videos from Bon Scott era. Uh, and oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, That's a so they, they, it's a long way to the oh, top. They're on the, they're on the bed of a truck, and they're going right through downtown Sydney. And so we were like, hey, let's do that. And Kalamazoo has this amazing parade called the Duda Parade, and it's themed every every year. And people dress up to the theme and just put all kinds of wacky stuff in the parade. And I was like, why not us? Let's do this. So we got a trailer and and we uh, a driver, yeah, a driver yeah. with a truck and uh, generators. 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 And, and Dave and I have wireless for our guitars, so we walked beside the float and kind of played with the crowd a little bit and. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can see the faces of the people as we round the corner, and they're like, "What?" Oh, yeah. <laughs> there were so many fists pumping. Yeah, yeah, no, they, no, it was live, and it was like, right, but people were probably, yeah, they were blown away, and it was, uh, it was, yeah, fun. that was a fun time. Yeah. yeah. Well. Well, the uh, the the fair gig, oh, okay. I won't I won't say it was the worst because no. it, it did turn out good, and I I mean a lot of people came up afterwards and said, man, we you know we were really digging it and everything, but in the middle of the show, wow. they backed up a truck, the pumper truck that that had pumped out all the porta potties, <laughs> and and then. St- started to pump it out <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah. man yeah. it just blew through there yeah. like that was awful bowl yeah yeah oh yeah it wasn't like it was a 50 degree and and, day and by day. the way it was like it was like 95 <laughs> degrees yeah. that day i mean we were we were sweating our asses off it was it was, it was the only show where we, we, we have ever worn shorts. Yep. The whole band, I, I was like, guys, I know we <laughs> always wear pants, but I can't do it today because it's just too freaking hot. Yeah. And yeah. And that's oh, a the, bumper truck. So yeah, they yeah. pumped yeah. they pumped out a sewer truck next yeah. to us. Pretty yeah. Shitty. Well, and then as we were tearing down, this high school girl probably mm. never drank before. She starts puking everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> this, yeah this girl puked all over. It, yeah, that was probably the worst one. I'd say, it, but but it was a good it was time. The worst of times. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Best of I mean, time. we rocked. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> now we we open for we open for Prince. Yeah, I, I mean, Twenty Monroe was great. Twenty Monroe, and Grand Rapids. That. Yeah. yeah, but but we've, I mean, opening for the, the Prince best. tribute was. Oh, yeah, oh we God. we opened for a Prince tribute out at. Yo, oh, it was great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Gabriel was, Gabriel yeah. Sanchez does yeah. a really amazing oh, job God. as he Prince. Was, he was yep. Prince great, the Prince man. experience. But yeah. that's our yep. crowd too. I mean, anybody from the eighties that like Prince. Yep. Like yeah, ACDC. Yeah, that, that was cool. 
Mm -hmm. was cool. But, you know, a lot of those, I mean, a lot of those Final Gravity shows were freaking good, too, man. Because it's a really small freaking shotgun room, you know. We always pack the freaking place, and you get all those people right up on top of you, you know, and they're into it, and you're into it, and it's just like, holy shit, man. My my favorite thing to do is, from uh, like, in the middle of uh, Let There Be Rock, there's a spot where there's no guitars and there's a little breakdown. I'll grab my phone and, and take pictures and videos of the crowd. And we've got some amazing shots from Final Gravity, from Old Dog Tavern, from Dark Horse. Dark Horse. Yeah, we played yeah, Dark Horse out yeah. in Marshall, Michigan. Dark Horse Brewing. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, we're kind of, some of us are kind of partial to craft beer. So we play a lot of breweries. And <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <sighs> He sighs if he drinks out of his beer with his hand. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, these, these oh, Joe and Jamie. These God. guys play in 20 bands. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. List them off. Which bands you got? Old and Son. Old Hank's oh, yeah. son. They're, yeah, they're both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, yeah. We're, we're we're both of it. So there's a history here. Jamie and I grew up together, and um, we he was a couple years older. We went to the same high school, played hockey together, played some music in high school. Come college time, we get into a. I mean, all of us knew each other from except for Randy. He wasn't born yet. But, <laughs> um, we all soda regularly so and jamie and i have been in bands together literally over 30 years so it, it we um we play in in whole it used to be the tom Asky band it's old hank's son um jamie and i played a gig with kyle jennings last summer uh jamie's in a band called the unknowns i'm in a band called uh, um in the gray uh so yeah, we just love to play. Um, and now that I have two kids and going to college, I got to make as much money as I can. <laughs> and, and these three guys had this killer band that we were both playing in other bands, envious about this nope, other exactly. AC, DC tribute band. And fate just happened to allow us to join the band because this and that. And we've known these guys, and it just happened. And now it's just like we we giggle every Monday night just because we get to do what we love with guys we love. And it just, it's an awesome time. Yeah, and, yeah, it, yeah. and these guys are veterans of the music scene yeah, yeah. from, also, from yeah. back in you the know. day. And I, uh, Dave, you, so, so not, you know, not to name drop, but <laughs> you know, Dave was in the band, the yes, band, yes, rolling was. head. I don't oh, know if yeah. you've heard of rolling head, but, but in wow. Cal, Kalamazoo in yeah. the, yeah. that, yeah. Well, you're, you're the 90s. You're, you're probably too young. freaking young. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we were done by the yeah, We were done they, in 94. So, you know, and then, you know, these guys were in the urge and I was in a bunch of different bands. I mean, I I was in bands that opened for them. I was in bands that opened for his brother's band after Rolling Head was done. I mean, it's yeah, we've yeah, all been we, around each we other. We all have known each other. For and and then time. this guy, this is his first fucking band. <laughs> <laughs> this is his first yeah. band. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. I only played acoustic guitar. <laughs> hey, now listen. Now listen, I was in a band that opened for the Western Michigan University football team. Sweet. It was called the Bronco Marching Band. <laughs> I was in the drum line. And I was in Western yeah. Michigan concert band. There you go. Like See? <laughs> uh, these guys spoil me, though, because I'm always asking them. I'm like, man, this is this is a lot of fun. Is it always like this in a band? And they're like, no. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's very yeah. People, yeah, yeah. He yeah. Had a yeah he's, he's never played for two people, yeah, other than his daughters. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, I mean, it's kind of coming back. I, I think like there's a lot of folks that are focused on restoring the glory of the olden days. And I mean, we mentioned club soda, I'm wearing a club soda shirt and I mean, that's, that's where it all starts really. Yeah. Uh, I, Five, maybe seven days a week. You yeah. know, I, I, I feel like it's, I feel like it's coming back, but at the same time, I think it's, it's people our age that are bringing it. That's true. Back. Yeah. Very you know, true. I, you know, my kids 21 and it, it seems like people of that age just really don't care about it that much. You know, there, there's some out there. I mean, we, we've seen, we, we had, we had a band open for us one time that were some young kids, out, yeah. you know, yeah. Merovingian. Yeah. Yeah. But for the most part, you know, most of the, we do see some young people at our shows though, you know? Yeah. They tend to dig it. And that's yeah, the thing. Like yeah, you just got to get them out. You got to, you got to, so, so it takes a combination of a lot of things. It takes the venues and obviously venues, they were on the decline before COVID. And I don't want to say the C word. I just said it. Oh. Uh, but you know, it's like that things really took a hit in the last few years. And it kind of feels like we're finally shaking off that, um, you know, we've worked with, um, Ruggers up and under in Kalamazoo a lot, which has been amazing. They've got an awesome room, um, for music. And, um, I'm actually on the board for the Kalamazoo Valley Blues Association, and we've been doing blues shows there for the last few years. And so that's really kind of getting some traction and taking off. Um, uh, but we just, we need more, we need more of those venues. We need, we need the club sodas to come back. We need the, the, the places to have these shows. And, um, you know, it's just sometimes you, you get depressed because you see left and right the places that are closing. Uh, and, and it really, um, if we if we had like the the place we love playing outside is like Old Dog Tavern. They've got like the the amazing backyard setup that is just an awesome like place Bell's to play. Junior. Yeah, yeah. It's like Bell's Lane, basically. <laughs> Um, yeah, but, but when Kalamazoo is really rocking and when they're, when the festival site is full of festivals and when people are downtown and you can hear live music from every corner that it's really an amazing scene yeah. to be a part of. Yeah. And we did get to play the festival site last summer. That was we, cool. Well, yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. Rip Fest. They're and, not going to do it this year. Yeah. yeah. And then Rip Fest is on hiatus. So who knows? Yeah. They just announced they're not going to have a Rib Fest this summer and, uh, which is ironic because KVBA is actually going to return and we're going to put our blues festival, uh, which has been downtown for the last 30 years. We're finally coming back to downtown. We're going to have it this summer in July. So. Yeah. Yeah. KVBA was formed 30 years ago. Yeah. We had the first festival downtown at that Arcadia Creek festival site 30 summers ago. So we're really excited to come back and, um, I don't know if I can, I, I don't have signed contracts yet, so I can't talk about the artists that we're, uh, we'll bring out. Well, let me just say that we have an artist that played 30 years ago at that original festival that's going to be back this summer. So, yeah, what a way to reintroduce that festival, you know. <laughs> yeah, if somebody can find that original lineup, <laughs> they can figure it out. But I'm I'm not legally allowed to say it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, there there are some smaller venues around though now that are are starting to run bands that didn't used to in yeah. town. You know, like Long Lake Taverns running bands, mm -hmm. Sugar Bowls freaking Sugar running Bowls bands, doing bands, you yeah. Know? Right. So, so, I, anytime, so there's some stuff out there if people want to get out there and play. Yeah, anytime somebody's bands. doing bands, man, I, yeah. I go find the owner and I give him a high five and say, yeah, Man, hell yeah. Thanks for supporting live music. Absolutely. Thanks for doing what you do. Yeah. Yeah, presidential brewing. Presidential brewing. Yeah, yeah we a good one. we played there last summer yeah. and it was an amazing it's a show. Nice setup. Yeah, very nice. Down in Portage on Portage Road, yeah. and uh, you know it's like a stone's throw from where I live. So that place is just awesome. What a great crowd! We're gonna play there a couple times this coming uh, summer, May and August. So yeah, and then north north of Kalamazoo and at Seago, Liquid yeah. Note. Yeah, Liquid, Liquid Note. Oh God. Yeah, well, outdoor. the outdoor space just launched last year. Yep. And uh, yeah, and, and they just doubled it. They yeah, doubled yeah. the space. They have an amazing lineup this summer. They're bringing in uh, Duke Tomato is going to play uh, the Verve Pipe. 
Um, OCDC. Just OCDC is going <laughs> to play there. Um, That's when you need yeah. to go. It's Yeah, come check us out. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Right. Definitely. Well, then- well, the thing is for us when, you know, not this young guy, <laughs> but, but for us, when we were coming up in Kalamazoo, I mean, we literally could go out and watch a band seven nights a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and I'm not talking about just one place. I'm talking about multiple places. We could, we could go do that. Mm-hmm. Ricks, you know, and, and, and now, you know, now you can't. And, and that's, well, that's what we'd like to see, you know, that's, that's where it was at. When you talk about the resurgence and when I mentioned that we need a, we need the new club soda, that's the concept that kind of gave birth to the festival called sounds of the zoo. And uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Jen, Jen Prinker does an amazing job. She started that out of this this desire to bring us back to that era of let's make Kalamazoo a live music destination. Let's make it so that anybody who's passing through is going to be able to stop any night of the week and see amazing local talent, regional talent, even national acts here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Why not, right? We've been there before. We can do it again. Yeah, absolutely. And every September, she's doing a week-long celebration of music at venues all across the city, including the, the park's uh, like Bronson Park downtown, Arcadia Creek Festival site, Ruggers Up and Under, Clover Room, a little intimate space for small shows. Just you name it, she's doing it, and it's amazing. It is so cool to check out. It, yeah. That happens in September. Exactly. But, Jay, yeah, but, we did the Jay Kershaw. Yep. Yeah, but I will say, Right, yeah. but I I will say though around here there are a lot of smaller you know smaller places that at you know five six seven o'clock you can go out and see an acoustic duo or mm-hmm. you know there, there's a lot of places running that kind of stuff. Tom Askey, yep, that is oh, an old maestro, and he does a lot of that, mm-hmm. and it's it, I mean it's great, it's a good time, you know, it's it it's live music, so hell yeah. I think so. there's a germ germination of something that's building. I think it's like it's ready to really expand and we just got to keep pushing. Yeah. Man, we're just looking for, you know, we got gumbo coming up for us at Louis. We've got shows at presidential. We've got we're heading into the summer season. So it's like we're that's when we're the busiest because we've got the more more venues that are open to us for outdoor spaces. But um, we just enjoy playing out live and and yeah. we, we play with our friends, too. Like that's we, we bring along um, an act to play with us every time. And, and sometimes those are uh, solo acts or, yeah. you know, duos, acoustics or whatever. Sometimes yeah. it's full on. Well, bands well, and- a lot of times we, we've done some shows since these guys are in old Hank's son. Yeah, we, my, we sometimes do- we just, yeah, double we bill. Do, we just do the old Hank Sun OCDC, and you can get some country and get some rock go. and roll. That's right. Yeah, they play some rock and roll. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah.
Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We only play with people we like. When yeah. Yeah. (laughs) When we do that, you know, and do the old Hank song thing, we just basically consider it a six member band. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I mean Tom is just like a six member of the band, you know. That's what we do. Just just rotate sets. It's a lot of fun and and uh, we we've got friends like uh, our friends in Hair Mania. Um, we've played with them a few yeah. times, uh, and that's a rocking good time. Like, if you want to dance and sing along and and hear songs that, from your childhood, and you know, or or like my kids, like they're discovering that era. Um, we took them out to see Hair Mania. They uh, Hair Mania played at uh, City of Portage uh, Parks and Recs has a band shell right behind the police department, and they play free shows all summer. Hair Mania played there. I took the kids down there with my wife and. Uh, they were all just singing along to all the songs and had a great time. So uh, they're good friends of ours. We played with them a few times. They're a lot of fun. And yep. uh, Van Gogh, um, yeah, well. Van Gogh is a lot of fun to play with. We played with them at Up and Under. Um, yeah. So is, I mean, now Hair Mania, and Van yeah, Gogh are playing together. Hair Mania, Van yeah, Gogh, yeah. OCDC. Well, you yeah. can't go wrong. Yeah. It's a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. So, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean social media is like i don't know it, it's a necessary evil these days kind of really i mean we we have our facebook's we have our instagrams we have all that stuff but if you really want to keep up with the band go to ocdckzoo.com that's our website ocdckzoo.com and there's links on there to everything. There's a couple of videos of some of our past shows. Mm-hmm. You can sign up for our newsletter. Uh, I try not to spam you too much and uh, flood your inbox with that. Just a couple of timely updates here and there with uh, shows that we're booking and, um, you know, just keep you up to date with the schedule. We're also on Bands in Town, uh, which is a great site to check out if you want to find schedules, subscribe to bands, figure out where they're playing next, buy tickets, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. So... Hit the website, OCDCKZOO.com. That's where we're at. That's what Randy's doing. I'm, I'm <laughs> still putting flyers on telephone poles downtown. <laughs> so if you're in downtown Kalamazoo, look at the telephone pole. Yeah. If you get something under your windshield wiper, it probably came from Brett. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, we Sweet one, actually, yeah. I love it. I collect all the posters, man. I'm a nerd like that. I've, every time we play a show, I keep a poster. It's cool. Yeah. We're obsessed with making it right, you know. Yeah. And we, and, and, and and speaking of that, since we're gonna make it right, it's OCD slash C. That's right. OCD. <laughs> OC <laughs> It's a mouthful. Exactly. 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 There you go. We, and, we and the logo is Awesome. Logos Prime for sure. Yeah. We put the O in ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we just love doing this. We're having fun with it. And that's the thing. Like, yeah. look, so many people, are, yeah, at the end of our shows, they come up to us and say, man, it looked like you guys had a lot of fun up there. And that's what it's all about. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah thank you. It. Awesome. Yeah, be good. We'll dedicate a deep cut to you. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll we'll brush your hair back. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having us.
for sure. No, it's oh, all right. sorry. Okay, like my love life. All this, all this technology. <laughs> Mine's a full Okay. Excellent. Sweet. All right. Thank okay. You. Great. Yeah. No, we appreciate it. Thanks for what you're doing for live music. We we love yeah. it. It's good stuff. Yep. Where's that? All right, guys. All right. All right. Good night. Thank you, ma'am. Take Bye-bye. care. We gotta, I got to figure out how to get out of this session. <laughs>